that's give up your holidays and come and work an 80 hour week back to back. Now, you just need to think, and people are out there that want to help people. I want to help people, and I know people have helped me, and I know other people that willingly help other people. So, you've got to think, who do you know? Who, who maybe people that you've worked for in the past, or have worked for you, or uh, friends, family, and even pensions. There's a lot of people with big pension funds that you can use to get involved in this. And if this isn't an option, you can do vendor financing, where you get the vendor to put the project property in. So again, there's always a way to do these with zero capital if you haven't. So I actually borrowed um, the money off Alan, converted it into four apartments, sold one, kept the other three, paid Alan back, plus his 10%. So that's Alan paid back, and then at the age of 20, it was 22 for that one, 24 for that, I went and found a 30 bed care home. So I thought, I'll go to my good friend Alan, ask for some money, and he said, uh, even this one's a bit big for me, George, it'll do you good to learn how to raise funds elsewhere. So I was like, great lesson, thanks Alan, appreciate that. But, so again, um, I, I literally had, because I didn't tell the other three, I still had no money. So I had to go out, at 24 and raise a million pounds. And, I, and this, I'm a kid from a council estate, you know? Um, so I didn't really have that circle. I was lucky enough to have worked for someone, um, but he wasn't there anymore. And I scraped together just enough to put down for a deposit, and then I got a bridge, and then I did the plans. Um, actually, with a pub, I did the plans myself, all the control myself, and the majority of the work myself. So I secured that, got the planning, and then eventually I got Close Brothers on, which is a merchant bank. They lent 100% development funding. I developed it out into 20 apartments. I was all in for a million. Remortgaged at a million and a half, so it's half a million profit. And I did that in a year at that age with, with no experience on that level and no capital going. So it is 100% your mindset. And there's only you that's ever going to dictate to yourself where you're going to end up in life. And you can't choose how you're starting off in life, but you can only choose where you're going to end up. And 